Hey guys, my name is Celeste and this is my job pain journey. So if you have been following along, you know that I am currently in the Aga Appliance. So that means that I am currently working on growth forward on my teeth and moving um, my front teeth forward so that my bottom jaw can move forward as well. And this is all for relieving TMJ pain that I have had. So I have, I definitely have a TMJ disorder, worse in my left side, but technically there's arthritis in both sides, both sides of my jaw. So I have been kind of dealing with pain for my jaw, my neck, my back, all related to my TMJ and my bite for about 10 years now, at least I wanna say. Uh, I definitely have been going to doctors for close to 10 years and I finally settled on the Aga appliance as a solution and a alternative to surgery, which I was told that I should get surgery, but I am currently doing everything in my power to avoid surgery because it is just not something that I was personally looking to do only as a last resort ultimately. So that is why I'm in the Aga appliance and this is supposed to help my teeth move forward, which is going to help relieve tension on my jaw because it'll allow my lower jaw to settle forward as well. So after the Aga appliance, I will be going into braces. And as far as I know, these are going to be metal braces that I will be wearing. The Aga appliance is about a six to eight month uh, treatment plan. I'm not sure how long I will personally be in though. I could be for less, it could be for more. It all depends on what movement and growth I see in the amount of time that I'm wearing it. Ultimately, what I'm going to talk about in this video is that I have a five week long update for you guys. As you know, I just had a one month update where I actually had the appliance activated and I had previously not seen any growth. When I went to my appointment, they confirmed that for me that there really wasn't measurable growth of my teeth and movement, but they also reassured me that that was totally normal and some people just did not see growth for the first month. I also wanted to mention that I had not really felt much pain in my teeth. I did have like soreness, but nothing that maybe kept me from like eating certain foods. Currently, I am able to eat most foods, although I do avoid crunchy foods and things that could potentially break the appliance or even just kind of like be sensitive to my teeth. So things like chips or, or nuts or things like that, I try to avoid, which I, I have been avoiding because um, I don't want to mess anything up with the appliance and I also don't want to hurt my teeth. Ultimately though, I hadn't seen that much, I hadn't felt that much pain in my teeth up until until now, I will say that this on this side there is a tooth that has been pretty painful. It's pretty painful right now too. It's really sensitive. So I'm hoping that that means that things are moving now. And I think maybe moving more so on this side first than this side. I'm not sure why that would be. I guess I'll have to see in time if that's the case. If one side started moving forward first, I don't think that's going to be a problem because honestly, like my jaw is off i have a cant um you know going this way so and i'm also kind of all uneven in all areas so i'm assuming like the reason it's moving unevenly is because it's probably has to compensate for some unevenness in my jaw to begin with so we'll see how that works out but ultimately all I know is that there's one tooth on this side that I have just been avoiding because it is very sore. It feels like it's movement kind of happening with it. And I've just kind of been, luckily, since this side does not hurt nearly as bad, I've just been eating on this side for the most part and that has just been fine. But I hope, um, I hope that means that things are moving finally and that things are growing and, and going the right way. So I do have some other updates I wanted to mention. I mentioned in previous videos that I am seeing a craniosacral therapist and she's been helping me with some things that have been kind of off with my body and as I'm kind of trying to readjust my teeth and my bite, I also want to make sure that my neck is going to be aligned, my shoulders, my back, and also she was actually really helping me relieve some of the tension that is in my body because of a inability to breathe properly and she's helping me correct that. So 
after my last visit which was just this past monday shortly after the adjustment i wanted to make sure that i continue to go to all these doctors like within the same amount of time so that as things are like moving in one area i'm making sure that i'm on top of like correcting everything else so with the craniosacral therapist, she was really helping me to breathe and she was noticing that one side of my lungs was like filling up better than the other. And I think these are all like compensations that I have created in my body over time, trying to breathe, having a small airway, maybe because I've had allergies growing up, my body like overcompensated in, in weird ways that now is kind of affecting me overall. My point being in sharing this, to be honest, is just to mention that like, if you guys are thinking of doing some kind of craniosacral no sacral work i personally am feel like it had really helped me when i left at my last uh appointment she was really helping me to relieve some strain and tension in my face and in my head and in my neck and i am going back this friday because there were some exercises that she just did not have time to help me with before i left so she was kind of working on just relieving tension when i first went this past monday so she kind of worked on that and then we kind of ran out of time so she wanted me to come in friday and i think i'm going to come in a little regularly like at least once or twice a week to start out with because i really kind of have to get in some kind of like equilibrium because i'm having a lot of tension in my shoulders and my neck and i need to keep everything in order because you know the more they release this the more they start moving my teeth the more my muscles just tense up in reaction to that and it can be really painful after this last appointment with my tmj specialist slash orthodontist i really started to feel some pain in my neck some pain in my back and my shoulders and i'm pretty sure that you know anytime they're going to activate the tension here the rest of me is probably going to react which is also why i had scheduled a chiropractic appointment shortly after unfortunately that got delayed because there was a snowstorm so the appointment got canceled but i was able to just recently go to that doctor's appointment with my chiropractor just yesterday and she was able to help me a lot i didn't even realize how off my shoulders were but my lower back was also being affected by it so you know this whole process i'm finding out you know you end up kind of in a crooked state because of one thing or another for me it was a combination of things like an injury and also genetics and an airway issue as well so all these things added up to really creating kind of a a compensation within my body where i'm very off you know i'm crooked in my neck and and in my jaw for sure obviously but that then affects like my hips and your feet and basically from head to toe you can end up in a lot of pain and i think maybe for a lot of us it's like we we're trying to figure out how to resolve that but ultimately i'm finding it's really going to take time and it's also going to take working with some different specialists and not just focusing on any one area but really on a whole body approach really my long-term goal is to reach a place where i will have a bite again once i get through braces which i think overall the whole treatment will probably take me about two years from start to finish but I'm really hoping to get into a place where I can breathe comfortably, I have good sleep at night, I can get rid of some of my neck pain and my shoulder pain, and we'll see from there what happens. I am really hopeful that this treatment, as I mentioned in other videos, that this treatment will eventually lead to me just being able to kind of function without wearing a splint and really without kind of having those constant flare-ups that I have. And I know a lot of you guys are probably out there hoping to reach some kind of state of equilibrium as well with your pain and, and kind of coping and dealing with that TMJ pain on a regular basis. So I hope these videos are going to be helpful for some of you guys and also some of you maybe who are considering the AGA but are not yet sure if it's the right thing. I can't say for sure that you know every AGA procedure and treatment is going to go the same way that mine is just because I'm different you know different person but also we all have different doctors too and it's scary like it's scary starting to move your teeth because there's a lot of things that can go wrong when you start to move your teeth there's risks just like with surgery you know there's risks of losing teeth 
or you know ending up doing some damage to your teeth by moving them around and then of course losing teeth can ultimately cause more dmj so i know that it's kind of a scary step to take and if any of you guys are going through this as well i would love to hear some of your thoughts and feedback about what you are going through what recommendations you have what other treatments are you going through in addition to kind of working with a tmj specialist if you do have a splint are you doing craniosacral therapy? I'm wondering what kind of things you have expect ha, have seen with craniosacral therapy because I was not really sure what to expect with it and I'm not really sure moving forward what to expect with it either. I know she is hoping to help me breathe more evenly through both of my lungs and not kind of overcompensating with one side versus the other, which I did not even realize I was doing at all. Having left that appointment, I really felt relaxed almost i felt like i could breathe easier i felt like there was a lot of tension that was out of my body i didn't feel like i was quite as in fight or flight mode as i usually am which is a lot of stuff you don't even realize you're feeling until kind of the symptom is taken away you just get used to your body like you know if if someone were to ask me in pain i, I can start to realize like yes i'm you know i have neck pain i have shoulder pain i have jaw pain and and all these kinds of things but when you live with it on a daily basis you kind of like stop noticing and it just becomes a normal way of life but your body still notices it and your body is still trying to compensate for whatever pain or discomfort it is in even though subconsciously like it is there and consciously you are just kind of going about your day trying to compensate for what you're feeling and so dmj is, is um and really it's tmd it is the disorder of your TMJ joints. I think a lot of us kind of refer to it as TMJ, but that is what I mean when I say, you know, TMJ pain or disorders really can affect every aspect of your life. So I hope you guys are able to find the doctor that works great for you. I wish you the best of luck on your jaw pain journey. Comment down below. Let me know where you are at in this whole process. Are you considering braces? Are you considering an AGA appliance? Are you considering surgery? And if you are, you know, what led you to that decision? I'd really be curious because I understand we are all in different places. There are so many reasons that you can end up with this kind of pain and disorder. And I really hope that this can be a community on this channel to share what we're going through and share also recommendations and, and kind of our, our thoughts and feelings about the whole thing. Please give this video a big thumbs up. That lets me know that you are enjoying the content on my, on my channel. It also allows other people to see these videos as well. So if they are searching for a similar thing, they can find this video and, and hopefully be helped by it. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Jaw Pain Journey. I will be continuing to update you guys on my AGA appliance, especially and how this goes, how it's helping with my TMJ issues and also i'm going to update you guys on any other appointments that i make to just see what else will work i have been to neuromuscular dentist already i've talked about that in some of my other videos so you can check those out i link to other videos in my description box below so you can always look at those if you are looking to learn more about kind of what else i have tried I'm really happy with tmj massage too so if you want me to do a video about that let me know in the comments down below that has been super helpful to me but ultimately that is going to do it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope to see you back again soon but bye for now